Hi, Brad from WordPressSites.net. This is a 15 minute video that complements my free getting started with WordPress guide. So, th this video will just walk you through the different uh, sections of the ebook and uh, just show you how to set up WordPress. I'll show you quickly how to install WordPress once you've uh, decided on which domain name you're going to use and you've purchased a domain name and a web hosting account which are the two requirements you need. Um, I've got links in my ebook to, to the recommended um, providers of, of, uh, for domains and hosting so you may, you may want to have a look at that. Um, but the, after after that, you need to install WordPress uh, before we can set everything up, and it's very straightforward. And I'll go through that now. Uh, in your welcome email, when you purchase a web hosting account, you receive a URL, uh, which is the address to your cPanel account. Now, cPanel is a control panel software which is used to manage your server space. So when you buy web hosting you, you're buying a certain amount of space on a web server and that's connected to the internet and uh, you'll find a WordPress icon in cPanel and it might maybe under simple scripts if you're using Bluehost, if you're using HostGator it may be called Fantastico Deluxe but uh, look for the WordPress logo and we click on this and I'll, I'll just install WordPress to a spare domain that I have called solutionsocial.com um, and I'll show you how easy it is uh, just using this special script uh, click on install Fantastico Deluxe which installs WordPress as well on HostGator is a little bit different but, but it's very easy to do it and uh, very easy to install WordPress and if you've got any problems just contact technical support and I'll help you uh, through the process which is very straightforward you can install using www or without the www I don't use the www uh, just because I just want to keep it a bit smaller but uh, I'll find solution uh, solutionsocial.com here it is here now step two click here to, dis to display this is going to be your login details for your WordPress site um, admins a username by default uh, you can change that here or when after you install now I'll just uh, I'll just put in a temporary password and we'll change that after we install WordPress now at step three deselect these these two options here they're some sort of commercial products so uh, bypass them for the moment. Step four, agree to the terms and conditions and click complete. Now what this will do is this program will install WordPress files on your server connected to your domain name and also create a database as well. So uh, overwrite warning. We'll overwrite the existing files in there. So this is all there is to install WordPress these days. It's very, very simple. It's called one-click installation. Uh, it used to you used to have to do it manually and uh, and download uh, download the files to your desktop and then upload them to your server and create databases and all sorts of things. So here we are. Here we click on the login URL and we'll just log into WordPress now. So admin was the uh, the username, password uh, abc123. And here we have WordPress installed to your domain name. Now you find by default there's some uh, there's just some some comments here. Just just trash these. That's just an example of what a comment will be. And also if you go to posts, you'll find an example of a post. Hello world it's called. It's just a default example post. And uh, you, you want to trash these as well. So we'll just move these to trash. Because you want to put your own text in there. Now, the next step probably to do is to go down to users on the left. Uh, click on uh, your profile. Uh, and we go down here. Now it's here we can change the password and I suggest you do this 
and for security reasons I suggest you use at least 10 digits um, because it's, it's, it's extremely hard for hackers to break into your site if you're using 10 digits or more it, 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 it's, it's pretty much impossible for them to do it so uh, if you're only using 4 or 5 digits they can get in within a few minutes so they can use programs to do that so you use a very long password I know it's a bit of a bit of a hassle but you can save it in your browser as well and, uh, and make sure you do that and also add some add some information about yourself it's really important that you add some uh, some, some some information that you're a helpful person and uh, in your industry uh, and uh, personalize all your different blog posts you can also add your email uh, your name here um, display name publicly as uh, make sure you put a name in here it looks a lot better than uh, using admin so I just use Brad or Brad Dalton and, and, and click on update profile now, now the next step is the permalinks this is, this is very important just down under settings you'll find permalinks now the, the links to every single page and post on your site will be unique they, they will not be the same so you want to make sure you've got uh, links that are search engine friendly by default WordPress uses these little um, sort of code P equals 1, 2, 3 which doesn't make a lot of sense to the search engines or, or to your readers so, so it's better off to change these and you can use a, a, a custom structure or you can use one of these here but as long as you don't use default and make sure you change them before you start writing any posts so uh, let's just use day and name I think that's quite good click on save changes okay now let's have a look under settings and we'll go through the settings fairly quickly uh, click on general settings and here's the name for your site you can put in your site title and a tagline now if you're just going to use text rather than an image uh, or a logo make sure you use words which are relevant to the overall topic of your site this will help uh, your search engine optimization and tell your readers basically what sort of content they can expect to find on your site so it's important that you put a small description in the tagline here and uh, and don't play around with these two settings here if you if you start to change these you can cause some major problems in your database and your site will uh, your site will break pretty quickly so so try to avoid staying away from them now we'll have just have a quick look at writing settings now this is this this is this is pretty straightforward by default you've got the settings here already I don't normally make any changes except maybe here for remote publishing if you want to use Microsoft Word document to publish to WordPress you can and uh, if, you, if you're really good on Microsoft Word and you like making charts and shapes and all those sorts of things you can you can you can use Microsoft Word to publish to uh, to WordPress so you need to enable these settings here if you want to do that otherwise I think you can pretty much keep the default settings there now we'll have a look at reading settings um, now your front page can display your latest blog posts and that can be 10 or 20 posts whatever you like or you can make it a static page if you're not wanting if you're wanting to use WordPress for a website rather than a blog you can click on static page and then you just create a page you go to pages add new you create a new page so it'll be a static page for your for your home page and then you'll find it here so we'll just uh, there's already a page called sample page so you select that click save changes and that's how you turn WordPress into a static website rather than a blog so that's that's pretty straightforward but I think WordPress is great as a blogging platform so I'll leave it uh, for the latest posts uh, now for your RSS feed um, you can either display full text or a summary of the text I recommend full text is better so if someone subscribes to your blog uh, every time you add new content or update content uh, if they're subscribed to your RSS feed they'll receive a full uh, a, a full transcription of what you've done they'll receive a copy of the content so uh, 
that's a great way to build readership and, and build up your lists and, and increase traffic as well. Now let's have a look at discussion settings. It's here you have to be careful with your with your discussion because discussion comes in the form of comments, which basically is feedback on, on the content of your site. And I think feedback is extremely important, especially for business. If you're using blogging for business, um, you, you want to read your feedback and find out exactly what your readers are interested in. If you can find out what the, what sort of information they need, well that's that, that's a big step towards. Uh, having a successful blog but you've also got to be careful of spam and under the discussion settings you can control that uh, you can click users must be registered and logged in to comment if you like and that'll wipe out a lot of spam comments for sure so uh, have a good look at those settings I've written more more about those settings in detail in my in my free WordPress guide and it's pretty self self-explanatory here's a comment blacklist if you've got uh, Russian spammers trying to sell you all sorts of stuff or, or, or Chinese stuff you can uh, you can put the list of them in there and wipe them out completely now this this part's quite important down the bottom here avatars you want to make sure you, you use uh, gravatar for for your avatars which is a small a small face shot of yourself um, and, and every time you reply to a comment your 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 face will be underneath that comment and uh, this is a good way to personalize your blog so you can you can go to gravatar and get a free free uh, free gravatar logo upload your your face shot there and uh, and link it to your WordPress site it's owned by the same company uh, automatic that, that owns WordPress, uh, even though WordPress is open source. So, uh, so go to gravatar.com and uh, and upload a face shot. Next, we've got media settings. It's here where you can set the defaults for your images when you upload images to your site, and uh, you've got different sizes: thumbnail size, medium size, large size. I normally just keep these as default, but you can change the settings here. So this is uh, this is pretty straightforward. Uh, privacy. Um, I'm I'm sure you want your site visible to the search engines and everyone. So just leave those defaults. And we've already had a look at permalink. Now let's just have a look at the one, two two of the most important elements of of WordPress, and they are plugins and uh, and themes. So we'll take a look at themes first. By default, WordPress gives you a free theme. It's called the currently the 2011 theme. It's a really nice theme, and they've done a fantastic job on it. And for a free theme, I, if if you're not wanting to invest in a premium theme, I I, I recommend you use this theme because it's fantastic and it's 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 got a fair few customization options. So you can you can make it your own, but if you do have the money. I, I recommend you do have, have a serious look at a, at a premium theme and there's a few very very good ones and they they help you to customize your theme uh, really well and you can make a fantastic looking website or blog fairly easily if you've got a, a really good quality uh, premium theme to work with. Uh, premium themes also provide premium support so whenever you get stuck and you will with WordPress at some stage you've always got really good support there so this is this is where it's done here you can change the themes very very easily you simply upload them and uh, and click to activate and that's all there is to it really now the next step uh, the next one I want to look at have a look at here is plugins um, plugins are, are very very popular with WordPress they make it very easy to add different functions to your site WordPress provides over 14,000 free plugins they're a bit like add-ons they're little uh, software programs that you can uh, choose from and you can easily search for them click on add new and uh, we just click on popular plugins and I recommend you have a look at the popular plugins because these are really good I'd, I'd install uh, Google XML sitemaps and I'd go down this list here and, and have a good look at these and these are the really good free plugins uh, some of the other free plugins aren't very good, they're not made very well, 
but make sure you have a good look at plugins and I've made a list of the recommended ones on my site as well so that's all we've got time for today and good luck